Hello, my name's Ken Wright. I work with RVs for Less in Knoxville, Tennessee. Wanted to spend a few minutes with you today talking about a new unit we got in. It's a uh, Crossroads Hampton. It is a uh, destination unit, extended state travel unit. It's a model number 373RDD, so it has a rear den. It is a bar top booth table with a rear den. So this is 42 foot long, wide body unit, 99 inches wide, has a uh, uh, carefree slide or carefree awning topper on it and then as we go inside we have a 60 by 76 inch sliding door and then you actually have an external door for the bedroom so this has a front bedroom and it has its own entrance door so let's go inside and look at the uh, 2021 crossroads hampton 373 rdd okay, as we come inside the unit again this is a 2021 Crossroads Hampton Extended State Travel Trailer 373 RDD. The 373 RDD is a rear den floor plan uh, with a boot top dinette table. So as we come inside, we actually come into the kitchen area. So here in the kitchen, uh, of course, we have the sink and the countertop uh, to my right. We have uh, storage under the sink. We have a shelf and then you have bottom storage. And then the sink itself is a uh, farm style stainless steel sink and you can set your stainless steel tops off and then you have a removable sprayer uh, that has a spray and a string on the one and you can set the uh, tops back in and then you have a uh, prep surface so in your uh, countertop uh, crossroads actually puts in a cordless phone charger so here's your cordless phone charger if you have an iphone 8 or above or an Android 6 or above, you can just set it on the charger and it will charge. Uh, this unit is shown in the Java Brown decor. So as we come into the dining room area, we have a bar top dining room table. So you have a large booth that can seat up to three adults. And then where the booth is set in bar top, the space from the cushion to the footstool is storage. So you have about a foot and a half of storage there, the size of the bar top. So you have a lot of storage. And then you have three bar top stools. So actually have seating for six at the dining room table. And then you have the level or blinds, the blinds on the uh, door, 60 by 76 inch door. And as we come into the uh, kitchen area, we have a residential refrigerator, double French. So you have the refrigerator doors, large capacity refrigerator. And then you have the French freezer doors. The ice maker is in the top left, and then on the bottom drawer, again, is just freezer space. And then storage above uh, the refrigerator. Then to the left of that, we come into uh, the kitchen again. We continue into the kitchen. We have a large capacity uh, microwave oven. They do have a large capacity microwave. And then a uh, more of a residential style cooktop. You have a four burner range top, and then large oven. It is the largest oven in the RV industry. This is an Insignia uh, cooktop, Insignia. So you have a light uh, for your oven and then on this side you actually have a panel light so it lights up uh, your dials and then the oven lights off the knob so you do not have to get down and light the pilot light. And then again they use in every space they can to give you storage. One thing in RV is the, you cannot ever get enough storage. So the more they can give you, the better off you are. So you have all your paperwork and then uh, cabinet space again. And then to the left of the cooktop, you have a pantry. So you have a five shelf pantry in here. Fixed shelves, because the shelves are wide, so they wouldn't, the weight capacity wouldn't allow adjustable shelves. So they put a five shelf fixed shelf pantry. And as we come on into the living room, uh, we actually have a theater seat, power theater seat that is power reclined. It has heat and massage in the theater seat. And then you have a uh, armrest holder for remotes or whatever you wanted to store into there. Uh, then you have ambient light in the bottom of it. So we can uh, turn our lighting on and then it's power recline in and out. And then again, you have heat and massage in, in, the, in the seat itself. So being a rear den model, we actually have two sofas. So we have a sofa on either side of the living room. Both sofas fold out to make a bed. So you do have a lot of sleeping capacity in this unit. You have a king master bedroom 
and then two sleeper sofas in the uh, living area. And then on the back wall, you have a 50 inch solid mount TV. You have a sound bar that is Bluetooth accessible. You can connect the TV to the sound bar via AD cable. And then we have a uh, electric fireplace. We actually have the fireplace on without heat, so you can have the look without heat. Uh, here we have, uh, on the flames, we have blue and red. You can choose blue, red, or a combination of blue and red, which we have now. And then you have uh, five cabinet doors above the TV. So a lot of storage capacity above your TV area, entertainment center. And then on the sides of the fireplace, you have a door with a uh, shelf, storage area with a shelf in it. They do very well giving you uh, storage space in this unit. Then of course you have a residential style ceiling fan in this particular unit. Again, the wooden level or blinds on all the windows with the uh, window treatments. And again, this is Java Brown. The decor in this unit is Java Brown. You can get a lighter gray uh, if you would wish. Uh, then as we go up into the master bedroom, as we come down the hallway toward the master bedroom and bathroom area, we have our control panel. So here we have the control for the air conditioner and your heat, your furnace heat is controlled actually on this panel. So we have a 15,000 in the living room area and a 13,500 in the bedroom. So this thermostat controls the 15,000 AC and your furnace. And then above that, we actually have a uh, wine guard uh, Uconnect uh, Wi-Fi extender. So you can turn this on. It's a, it's a 12 volt wireless system. So it will reach out up to about 3,000 feet and pick up an open signal or a signal that you have a password to and extend that signal, basically boost your signal. And then on our control panel, we have our battery monitor and our tank level gauges here. That shows your battery monitor, your fresh, your black, and your this particular unit has two uh, gray tanks. And then you have your awning lights, and then your interior lights, and then your slide controls and your water heater. So this is all your control panel when you come down to the living room area. And then as we come into the bathroom, uh, you have a uh, 30 by 36 shower, tile shower, nice window, has a large head capacity, so someone tall like myself, we can get in there and not have to stoop. Then we have a single sink configuration in this one with some uh, look at a nice vanity top space, then a medicine cabinet above the uh, sink, and then your standard foot flush toilet. Then you have uh, towel racks on uh, above the toilet, so you can hang your towel up when you come out. Then you have a drawer and then storage capacity door underneath the uh, vanity. So then as we uh, continue on into the master bedroom, this is a king bedroom. You do have your own exterior door here, so if for your bedroom you could come in and out if you had company. Uh, you could go out and not disturb anybody from the, uh, from the living area if they would spend a night with you. You come in again, you have a king bed. This is an RV king. It's a 76 by 80. Then you have a bay windows actually in your bedroom on this one. So you have overhead storage. Well, this is uh, one of the units that we actually have a ceiling fan in the bedroom. And again, a 13.5 AC in the bedroom. And then you have four windows in your bedroom. So you have a lot of natural light in the bedroom area or like we have it now because of the sun actually affects the camera a little bit. We have the night blinds down. And then you have a dresser top over here with a uh, 110 outlet. So if you want to put a uh, a clock, a phone charger, or whatever you want to put up over there. And then we have some uh, wardrobe hanging storage here. And then three drawers below. And the bedroom is actually prepped for a TV, but it doesn't have it with it. So you could put a TV on the wall or you could set it on the, uh, the top itself. TV hookups over here on the side. And then you have uh, storage capacity that would be below your TV. As we have uh, about three quarter storage underneath the beds. It is deep storage. So you raise the bed up and it has shocks that help you raise it. And then you have a, a deep storage under your bed. So extra blankets, uh, bedding, linens, anything you needed to store, you have a lot of room to store there. And then to the side, we actually have the master closet. And that would be, uh, you have a shelf space in there, or it is actually prepped for a washer dryer inside that closet.
So again, this is a 2021 Crossroads Hampton 373RDD. So uh, I wanted to take a few minutes to spend some time with you today to show you this unit. We've got it available on the lot here today for $47,900. has a one-year warranty front to back, and then you can buy up to a seven-year extended warranty on the unit. If you're interested in this unit or any unit we have on the lot or would like to place an order for a unit, please feel free to call myself, Ken Rife, or Karen Burson at 865-521-9112 or visit us on the website at www.rvsforless.net. Again, thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Uh, may God richly bless you and your family. Thank you.